What is SongDex? SongDex is a database for music reports. It was launched in 2016, providing an easy method for publishers to number one, search for any unmatched tracks, two, search for titles that haven't been currently matched, and three, to claim and process those unmatched tracks and titles to their database. Publishers can also use SongDex to register new titles. Quoting directly from the Music Reports website, SongDex is the largest database of music rights and related business information in the world, containing detailed relational data on tens of millions of songs, recordings, and their owners, covering virtually all of the commercially significant music in existence. I published a video on how to register your songs with music reports. Well, you can also use SongDex to register new works as well. You don't want to register songs that are already in the database. Be sure to watch that video to understand how the process works because it works the same. So then you may be wondering, why do I need to use SongDex then? You can use it to quickly search to see which songs are already listed. Let's take a look at that right now. Right on the Music Reports website, click the SongDex tab right in the middle of the page. Put in a title. It's going to ask, are you a part of the music community? If you are, click yes. If you're not, click no. Then in the top corner, you will need to create an account with an email and a password. I already have an account, so I'll just click yes, put in my email, then click on let's go. The search result will yield a page or pages of information for every songwriter and publisher, performer that has recorded that particular title. Rather than going through all of those pages, I can add a filter or search criteria, which I'll add writer, put in my name. That way the search results will take me directly to what I'm searching for versus going through all of those pages. Then I can review all of the information on the tabs to my right. The writer's name, the name of the publisher, performer, the name of the albums, and the number of tracks that have been recorded whether I recorded it or if someone else recorded it as a cover song. Instead of adding a filter to search, you can also search at the top middle there by performer, by title, by writer, or by your song Dex ID. Searching by writer yielded all of the songs that I currently have listed as a songwriter in the database. This is also very useful for songwriters who do not have a music publishing administrator or music publisher, or who do not have their own publishing company established at a performing rights organization. Songwriter then can come and do the same thing. Set up an account, search, then look to see which of their songs are listed. If they are not there, then they can manually add them by logging into the Songdex account. Still, in order to receive royalties, a music reports account will need to be established as well. Let's take a really quick look at what it looks like inside of a Songdex account. After you've logged in, it asks you what do you want to do. You have an opportunity to review records of existing works. You can find and claim your unmatched works, or you can register new works or covers. On the registry for registering new works, it gives you an opportunity to register manually one song at a time or in bulk. If you choose bulk, you will have to download the template in order to do so. On the claiming tab, find and claim your unmatched works. That's the process we went through in the tutorial on how to register your music with music reports. The process is the same. These, as well as a few other options, are also available on the left side of the page. So if you want to find out more about it, go ahead and register. If you're a songwriter or a music publisher, you definitely want to look at it, especially if you've not set up your music reports account, you want to do that as well. I want to make you aware also of this available resource. You can register your songs or claim your songs here at Songdex or at Music Reports. Do one or the other. The last thing you want is to have a lot of duplicates in the system. Let me know in the comments below how you've been enjoying or if you've been enjoying these tutorials, tips, and information. I'm celebrating 30 years this year, and I'm excited about empowering you to handle your music's business. You take care now, and have a great day.